everyone welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Jax or Jax plays the sims and I am so happy you're here we are back with Sienna and she had the loveliest weekend by herself filling her cup and now she's ready to catch up with her girls again she knows that she's going to San my Shuno at the end of this week so she wants to make sure to spend some time with the girls because she will be away and as you saw in her little morning routine he did a yoga class with Sade and after her little massage she is going to ask Amara if she can head over to her place because we haven't seen her since Saturday and when we did see her on Saturday, we did not have a conversation. So I think it's time for them to talk about what's been bothering Sienna. So that's going to happen. But after that, Sienna was invited to a paint and sip event. So we're going to go to a paint and sip event later tonight, which will be really, really fun. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So Sienna had the want to hire a massage therapist, which we did. So I'm just going to complete this, which is why she's getting a massage at her place. And you know what? I love this for her. The birds were chirping and it was really a vibe. All right. So since that's done, we're going to tell our girl that she can go away. All right. So Sienna's getting ready, she's showering, and we can already see that our girl, as per usual, is very flirty. So what I'm going to have her do, that woohoo drive of hers is crazy, so we're going to self woohoo. I can't send her to Amara's place feeling this flirty because I know that they're not going to have a conversation. So before we even head over there sienna needs to do what she needs to do so that she's not flirty anymore because last time they ended up in a public restroom together and you know what i loved that for sienna but today they only have a couple of hours because the paint and sip event is at seven today is time to just sit down and have a quick little chat about the status of their relationship so I'm going to have her call Amara now that she's not flirty anymore. And we're going to ask her if we can come over. Look at her. Why are you being so giddy? Go you, Sienna. Go you. All right, and I think she's going to say yes if she's home. Of course, you can come over. All right, so we're going to head over to Amara's house. I will see y'all there. All right, y'all. So Sienna made it to Amara's house, and she's wondering why she's never been here before because this is stunning. Sienna's trying to move in. <laughs> no, but seriously, like, why haven't we been here? Amara needs to, like, host something because this is so beautiful. It looks like Amara was waiting for us to come here because she was waiting for us outside. So we're just going to give her a hug. We only have a couple of hours before the paint and sip event starts. So we're going to give her a hug. She's feeling good, but also wounded. So we definitely have to have that conversation. Oh, wait. Oh well, wrong button. They just got a sentiment. It really means a lot to me that you make time for me. Just wanted to let you know. That's so sweet. Growing closer from quality time together. These are such contrasting sentiments. It's crazy. But we're going to work on this. We're going to work on this. We're going to have them sit and chat here. Just so that they're not sitting at the front entrance. All right, so not them sitting so far away from each other. All right, Sienna, go sit next to Amara. Come on now. All right, cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and start chatting with Amara. So we are not go get tested. I'm crying. Honestly, we might have to do that because from what we saw, we're going to remember the good old days before she disrespected us. And she's like, you remember when we had boundaries and you didn't disrespect me by 
sleeping with someone else and we're gonna try and figure out why she's sad as well but i definitely think she's sad because she feels guilty about what she did with amara and so she's just like i'm so sorry for what i did i feel so bad i really think amara feels guilty you can just tell so we're gonna be like i care a lot about you and it really hurt me that you know you decided to sleep with Sade, not even sleep with her just like do that in front of me you know like whatever that was was so disrespectful but regardless we're gonna try and cheer her up and just try and make her feel better because we can just tell she's really upset about what she did and yeah so Sienna's just gonna try to cheer Amara up and make her feel better she can tell she's really upset and Sienna's not really one to hold grudges she is hurt but she's not gonna hold that against Amara especially because she can tell that she feels really bad and of course she has a crush on her and here is Amara just already ah, giving her a suggestive look you know not us cheering her up and she's immediately flirty i think the um, the connection these two have is crazy did the hurt sentiment go away just now i think it did oh my god okay so it seems like this conversation really helped because amara's feeling less guilty and they're closer from happy memories growing closer from quality time and then she of course has a crush on her again wow okay so this just tells me that yeah sienna's in love love okay sienna's in love love and she's willing to forgive so we're just gonna accept the advances where's her arm oh it's in amara oh well girl why were you touching her there that's crazy she still has the wounded sentiment like or the wounded buff but she's not actually wounded she doesn't have that sentiment anymore so uh look at her already flirting offering her a massage that's crazy all right so we're just gonna we're gonna give her a nice embrace we've decided to move past this apparently because she the sentiment is gone i didn't do anything guys it just disappeared so sienna decided that she's ready to move on all right the sip and paint party is starting soon this view the sunset oh my god i'm such a sunset girly like this is so beautiful all right so it took me a while to find what i wanted to say but i want them to discuss their emotional connection because they do have a really strong physical connection they have a lot of chemistry but i think they also have a really strong emotional connection as well which is why sienna and amara were have, able to have a productive conversation about what happened and now they're able to move past it and they're flirting with each other i love it for them Look at them. Well, I didn't do that, guys. Like, they're so in love, and I love watching it. And I'm glad that we're now able to move past this. But the paint and sip event is going to start. So I'm going to see you guys at the event. Yeah, I'll see you there. All right. So we've made it to the paint and sip event. We are at Pino and Portraits in Sulani. So all of the girls are here except for Sade. Sade could not make it, but we're just going to get right into it. All right, so all of the girls are here, and I am controlling some of them just so that they do actually paint and sip while we're here. But before we go inside, Sienna already got in. She already got an attractiveness alert for Vivian, the only other person that she has yet to meet. You know, she's pretty so i can see it but sienna come on you just made up with amara please can we can we take it easy please but i don't know we might do a flirty introduction because we don't know her yet so we might <laughs> we wow she's literally so flirty like i 
just had her self woohoo so that she wouldn't be flirty and she's flirty again. But we're gonna serve some Chardonnay. Cute. And then we're just all gonna, oops. We're gonna have everyone grab a drink. And it looks like she's already introducing herself to her. Nice. Already. Look at her. Hi. She's like, hi, I'm Sienna. Nice to meet you. All right. So I'm going to have some of them paint. Oh my God, Sienna. Look at her, guys. <gasps> Girl, you just met her. I'm crying. Not Amara walking away. Well, let's talk to her then because that's how she's feeling. So we're going to do a flirty introduction. Amara walked away. So it is what it is. I'm crying. Sienna. Sienna is something else. I can't. <gasps> Magnetic bosom from talking to attractive Sim. Why must Sienna's converser have such eye-catching breasts and why can't sienna stop herself from trying to, from trying to catch a glimpse i can't oh my god sienna oh my god sienna strong-minded oh and we just made her flirty i can't sienna you are so naughty all right we're gonna have some of the girls go paint oh my god guys we're here as friends rena no no, we've been friends. We've been friends. Like, Sienna is in a non-exclusive relationship with Amara. She already slept with Valentina. She has a romance bar with Vivian. Almost forgot her name. She tried to get with Gemma, but Gemma's straight. And now Reyna is hitting on her. Like, Sienna has too much going on right now. Too much. I'm sorry, Reyna. All right. You guys should paint. That's why we're here. And the sipping part, but like, damn. All right. Oh my God. She's feeling flirty. Oh, it's a romantic lot. Oh my God. No wonder. This is dangerous. All right. Gemma, come paint. Amara, come paint. Amara's feeling flirty. Do a flirty painting. All right. And then Sienna. Sienna, you were going to flirt with her yourself? Oh my god. I didn't realize this lot had the flirty thing. Not this lot having the romantic aura. Like, no, don't flirt. Oh my god. I can't. Alright, we, we're going to paint. We're going to do a flirty painting. And we're going to have Vivian join us over here. She's also going to do a flirty painting. Everyone's flirty. Everyone. Whoa. Amara, I sent you to paint and you guys are now sitting next to each other. Okay. Fine, let's catch up with Amara. Let's talk about our emotional dreams. They're so cute though, guys. But Sienna is something else, I swear. And we're going to compliment her for being a great listener. We had such a great conversation earlier, so... Amara, stop it. Y'all, they're so cute. Amara is so pretty. I love them. I wish Sienna wasn't so messy, though. Amara is messy, too, though. So I guess they're meant to be. All right, can you finish? I feel like they drink their wine so slow. Like, finish it already. Oh, my God. Not Amara flirting with her. <gasps> oh, my God. Uh I'm crying. Okay. Our bodies weren't destined to be apart. Want to close the distance? Mara, we're going to go home with you. Okay. That's when we'll close the distance. But let's, let's be good. We already did the public thing in the last episode. So let's, let's be good. Oh my, oh my God. I cannot. Sienna from High Desire. My god who do you desire honestly that is such a great question who do you freaking desire let's go paint let's do a flirty painting please nah but this is cute this lot is so freaking beautiful who's she flirting with oh oh my god 
Lamar, it's just for now, okay? Sienna definitely wants it. Trust me. Trust me. All right, go ahead and paint. Ooh, that is not a good painting, Vivian. And I know that Sienna's is not going to be any better. Sienna can't paint. Thank God she didn't want to be an artist because... What is that? <laughs> Amara and Sienna can chat it. Oh, did you finish, Sienna? Oh, my God. Chat, she's so flirty. All right, so... Oh, we can set... We're not keeping this. We're not. I'm not keeping that. We're selling that because it's hideous. She tried. She tried. Right, so they're all just sitting down chatting. Amara's finishing her painting, and Sienna is just gonna keep talking. She's talking to Valentina right now. So let's just keep talking. Oh, I'm not flirting. Okay. Let's talk about our life aspirations. We're just gonna tell her that we've got. Oh, they flirted on their own. This is what I'm talking about. I didn't do that. But they got a sentiment. That's cute. It's been wonderful getting to know you. I'm crying. Oh, this is messy. Sienna's literally flirting with everyone today. But what we told Valentina before we got the little romance bar was that we finally kind of have figured out like what our path is going to be. And we're excited to keep working on our yoga practice. Oh, she's materialistic. We could see that. We could see that. All right, but we actually don't know Vivian that well, even though we did get that little romance bar. So we're just going to get to know her. Let's ask about her career. Like, what do you do for work, girl? Aw, Amara's painting is actually so cute. I love it, but it's so sad because she's sad. Oh, uh, maybe Sienna, make her feel better. Stop it. The poor girl. Let's make her feel better. All right, we're gonna try and brighten her day and see if that helps her feel a little better. Poor Amara, that's so sad. Brighten her day, Sienna. She's so sad. Oh, it worked a little. She has a little smile. Oh, poor Amara. That's oh. Nasty girlfriend. We're just gonna compliment her. Maybe just try and boost her ego, make her feel a little better. Oh my god. I just wanted to talk to Gemma, Reina. Hey, you wanna get <laughs> this is Sienna's second offer tonight. Honestly, good for Sienna, but Reina, we can't we can't. Sienna has so many she has so many entanglements we can't we can't even though she probably wants to I'm not gonna lie oh she has to use the bathroom not me forgetting about her needs all right so the event is over so we're actually gonna go home with Amara so maybe she can make us a late night snack and we can take care of our needs so I'll see you guys at Mac tomorrow Right, so Amara and Sienna have made it back. Apparently, Gia is Amara's roommate. We haven't seen Gia in a while, but Amara is making some grilled cheese for herself and for Sienna because they're both literally dying. So, yes, and I figured out why she's sad. Well, one, because she's hungry, but also because she feels guilty still. So Sienna and Amara are finally sitting down, and Sienna's so thankful that she made her a nice little bite to eat. So we're just going to thank her. We're going to compliment her. Where is it? Yes, let's compliment her kindness. Thank you so much for making me... The sandwich. I'll make sure to clean up the mess because that was really kind of you. Yeah, Amara's honestly so nice. Maybe I wouldn't say the kindest because what she did before was not kind. But we're gonna clean up since Amara made dinner. We're just gonna end the night with what they both really wanted, which was to boohoo. So gotta give the girlies what they want look at her she's so happy 
He's like, yep, this is what I wanted. She's like, I'm so sorry I said no earlier, but we already did it in public last time. We can't do it in public again. I just wanted to wait till we got home. And now we're home. <laughs> oh, man. Sienna got propositioned to twice tonight. I can't with her. But she's ending it with the person that she wants to end it with. And that is Mara, of course. They really are feeling each other, but Sienna is just attracted to everyone. And everyone, I'm kidding, and everyone's attracted to her. I don't know, that's what it seems like. So Sienna has a lot of temptation out there, but I guess that's why they're non-exclusive. So it's really the perfect thing for her. Oh, they're so cute. Stop it, they're adorable. I love them. I really wish Sienna would like settle down. I feel like she will one day, but they're just so adorable. Not suggestive looks when we're about to go to bed. All right, so our girls are finally asleep. So I will see y'all when they wake up. All right, so Sienna is about to wake up. Oh, that little kiss is always so cute to me. But uh, she wants to obviously thank Mamara for dinner last night. Oh, hey, Gia. So she's going to make her some breakfast. All right. So she is so happy that she made her little late night snack. So she's going to make her breakfast. We're just going to do scrambled eggs and bacon. Keep it simple. And then once Sienna makes breakfast for her, we are just going to get ready for the day and Sienna is going to uh, not you walking around in your underwear. Hopefully Gia will be okay because last time we saw her, she propositioned us after we said no. That's like what Reina did. I guess when you say no to them, it makes them want you more. I don't know because I feel like Gia tried to like make moves on us. We said no, like we didn't accept her advances and then she like propositioned us. And that's what happened with Reina. Sienna's having a great time making her girl breakfast. And she's super hungover, of course. But the... Not her being flirty. Gia, do not flirt with me. Amara's in bed and I'm making her breakfast, not you. Sienna's so pretty. I love her. Look at her. Right, so the girls are back where they ended their night last night and Sienna made Amara breakfast, so she woke her up and now they're just enjoying it together. Sienna's like, I had to return the favor. They're so cute. Amara's so pretty. But we're gonna give her a nice little compliment. Aside from food, you're my favorite. And last night you made me food, so that makes me like you even more. Um, she's like, I'm so appreciative of you. And she's feeling flirty. So we're just going to blow her a little kiss and thank her for a really fun night. We have to pay our bills. That's awkward. They're so cute. Not in front of Gia. Gia's like, I'm not me third wheeling. Yeah, girl. Because who told you to sit next to me? But let me pay her bills. Can I pay them on the phone? Yes, let's pay those bills. Alright, so we're going to give Amara a nice little hug after we pay for our bills. Let's give her a nice little... We're going to embrace her. Not us being broke. Thank God we're going home. We can ask her mom for money. <laughs> but we're just going to hug her and just like, thank you so much for having me over, for making me breakfast. But Sienna's got to go. We're going to brush our teeth and change her outfit. No way. No way. No. <gasps> Y'all, this is so crazy. I cannot believe this. Honestly, I wonder if like they were exclusive, if they would still 
behave like this like this is crazy to me i've never had a sim be in a non-exclusive relationship so it's just crazy to me they really don't know boundaries at all like the other thing was crazier right with said when they started to be wicked right in front of sienna that was wild and now apparently she has a thing with her roommate like you live with this girl and y'all have a thing i don't know if i were sienna i would be jealous i'm not gonna lie i would be jealous we're there's nothing we can do about it though at all nothing we can do and you know what sienna's gonna pretend she didn't see it Oh my god. Oh. After she made you breakfast? Like, that's crazy. Oh no, we're gonna yell at her. Because I just made you breakfast. Not you disrespecting me. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, I just, she just made her breakfast and you're out here like flirting with some other girl. Like, that's really crazy. Y'all i i can't even make this up like this is crazy this is crazy sienna's leaving i made them stop i made them stop and sienna's gonna yell at her because let me leave your house first let me leave your house first okay we we're gonna we're gonna order her to come clean yep come clean Oh, Gia. Ugh. See, I never liked her. I never liked her. That first night we met, that's why she never came back around. Because I really never liked her. At all. Never hung out with her again. Come clean, Amara. Tell us the truth. Oh, we just ordered her to clean. Oh, I'm crying. Is she cleaning? I'm crying. I ordered her to clean. I meant to order her to, like, come clean about, like, what she was doing. We're gonna... Ugh, I don't know. We're just gonna shout forbidden words at her because we're mad. Don't clean. I didn't mean to make you clean. All right, we're just going to shout at her and just like, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. And I know Sienna's not mad. Oh, this is so annoying. We're going to yell at her. Okay, we're going to yell at her and then we're leaving. Stop talking to her. I'm sorry. Like, if I was in an open relationship, I wouldn't want my person, like, sleeping with someone else right in front of me. Get like, no. Yeah, it's like you're being a bit. You need to get it together or else this is going to be over. Because I really, yes. Mock her outfit. Your PJs are dusty. Yeah. Don't goof around with her. Do not. Sienna was supposed to have a peaceful day. Your mom's a llama. I can't believe you would do that. Yeah. Anyways. We're leaving. Bye, Amara. Goodbye. Yeah, we hurt our friendship and our romance bar. That was awkward from having a crush. Girl, stop having a crush on her. Something went wrong and Sienna is losing their confidence. Well, yeah, because... I'm sorry, Amara, but when you have this in front of you why would you go and sleep with someone else is it because i said no last night like we we woohooed twice i i don't understand i don't y'all i am so frustrated with amara honestly we might have to end this i don't know but sienna's not gonna think about that right now we're gonna go teach a yoga class all right let's just let's just go we're gonna leave we're not we're not talking to her i need a little break but I will see you guys at the studio. All right, so Sienna made it to the new spa that is in Sulani. And it has the most beautiful yoga studio. And she's going to teach her very first 
yoga class and this time she's actually teaching so we're gonna make some money off of it which will be really fun so sienna is promoting her yoga class and now we're gonna teach a yoga a public energy centering yoga class we are not attracted to her lol um yes we're gonna teach our yoga class and we have to invite people it looks like our arch nemesis is taking our class right so we invited a couple of people to take our class it looks like amara is coming to also take the class i love that gia is here oh we have four people i love this for her when I play tested, she only had two people, so I'm happy. All right, so she's actually going to make money from this class, and I'm so excited for her teaching her first yoga class, and she has four people. What a perfect way to start. She's kind of like worked her way up. She started by teaching her mom. She taught her friends. She hasn't made any money from it, but now look at her teaching her very first class, and she's going to make 400 simoleons from this, so I'm so proud of her. So Sienna's first yoga class is over. Let's see how much money she made. We made 400 simoleons. Yay. Oh, I love this for her. And look at Amara. What is she going to do? What is she going to do? Not them dancing. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. Look. Sienna doesn't even look happy. You know, we're not dancing with you, Amara. We're actually very disappointed in you. Yes, we're... Just go away. Go away. Tell her, Sienna. Yes, leave us alone. Bye. No, ignore. Anyways, we're going home. Sienna has some plans. So we're going to go home. Honestly, it's Amara trying to hit on us when we just told her to go away. But we're going to head home because Sienna's going to invite some of the girls over and just have like a nice little dinner party with some of the girls. So I'll see you when she's home. All right, y'all. So Sienna has made it home from the class and she just showered and got ready. So I'm going to have her make a meal so that she can invite some of the girls over emphasis on some she needs to one celebrate the fact that she taught her very first yoga class and actually made money from it and then two decompress and talk to the girls about what happened with amara so we'll definitely be doing some gossiping tonight Sienna's definitely fed up with that situation. She's just like, this is the second time that she's done this. And like, you know, she thought that she preferred non-exclusive relationships. And I feel like she does because she's very flirty. But Sienna has boundaries, you know, like, yes, we'll maybe flirt in front of our partner with someone else. But Sienna would never woohoo or get wicked with someone else in front of her partner like you're still a partner you know that's that's very hurtful like no sienna don't sneeze on the food oh my god that's embarrassing but yeah sienna's feeling some type of way about that because she's like i would never do that so i don't know sienna doesn't like that and she didn't get buff saying that, but I know she doesn't like that because she was hurt the first time. So, yeah, there's a thing called boundaries and Amara doesn't have those. So Amara will not be invited. So we're going to invite the girls over. We're going to invite Gemma. Sade, I can't believe we have romance with Valentina. Um, and we're gonna invite, oh, Vivian's not an option. We were gonna invite Vivian, but she is not an option. So we'll invite Valentina. And we'll catch up with them. 
yeah she wants to become friends with vivian which is why i was gonna invite her but she's not an option so that's okay all right and then while they make their way here i'm gonna have her serve some wine everyone's coming over let's serve the merlot and then we're gonna pick up four servings to put on the table love this look at that the table's gonna look so cute all right let's say hi to all of the girls they got here so fast we love friends that are on time i'm gonna give her not ask to be woo partners She's like, hi, thank you so much for coming. It's so nice to see you on oh, Gemma Smells of Food. All right, we'll give them hugs as well. All right, and then after she like hugs the girls hello, we'll like sit down. And it's the perfect day to kind of have this like little casual dinner party because as you guys can see, it's very rainy out there. So, yeah. Well, hey girl, how you be? Girl, but she doesn't like you. Uh, oh my god. Uh, you can't have a crush on her. Oh my god. I can't. I can't. We we talked about this. Sienna, you cannot have a crush on Gemma. We're going to accept Sade's advances. Too much is happening. Um, Gemma is straight. You can't even flirt with her. Like, why do you have a crush on her? Oh my God, Sienna. All right, we're just gonna have them sit down. I can't with her. She's too much. All right, so they're all gonna sit down since the food is ready. I'm crying. So funny. All right, y'all, the table looks so cute. Like, not me getting them all to sit down compared to the first episode with the dinner. All right, so I'm having them all start eating. And Sienna's going to eat. But, y'all, I don't think that Gemma and Valentina like each other. So this might be a little awkward. But we're just going to go ahead and start talking to Gemma about our, situ our situation. We're just going to gossip and talk about what's happening with Amara and just be like, you won't believe what she did. And we're going to do the same with, oh, she likes romance music, sure. I'm crying. You can't have a crush on her. She's does not like you like that. Okay. But we're going to share with Sade as well. She's like, girl, you will not believe what happened. Amara slept with Gia right, basically right in front of me like she did with you that one time. I was so upset. And she's going to tell Valentina as well. Like, she's probably like, how do you guys deal with people not having boundaries? And they're probably like, we cut them off. Oh, they just got a sentiment. You make my day so much brighter. Thanks for making me smile. If that's how you're feeling, Sienna. But also, we'll discuss what happened today in our little yoga class. She's like, I taught my first yoga class today. And also hitting on her. Yes, it went really well. I actually made money. She's like, thank you guys so much for letting me teach you a yoga class. It was really helpful. We're going to try and make Gemma and Valentina friends again. Because I didn't know they hated each other, but they hate each other. I don't know if she was open to it. But we're going to do the same with Valentina gonna talk up Gemma and just see what she said just kind of help their relationship a bit but the food she made was really good it was scrumptious love that for you Sienna you killed it in the kitchen Gemma sounds like she is an absolute pleasure to be around oh, 
hopefully that helps there. Are you sure we're talking? Oh. <laughs> yeah, they don't like each other. Are you sure we're talking about the same person? Gemma wasn't so great. That's so awkward. All right, we're going to have them get up. Oh, not you flirting with Sade on your own, girly pop. Okay. Oh, and now they have... I'm crying. He keeps flirting with her. I'm crying. <gasps> Say no, no. <laughs> See Edna. Oh my God, she's like, listen. If Amara can get it, like, so can I. I'm crying. Can you at least wait till they leave, please? Please wait till they leave. Please. Oh my gosh. I can't with her. All right, you guys can get up. Oh my God. I'm crying. All right, let's clean up the mess and then we can go back to like flirting with Say. That's crazy. Oh my God. And you're daydreaming about Gia? Sienna, I cannot keep up with you. Uh, Sienna's head remembers Gia. Yeah, I'm sure it does, but not fondly. Okay, don't you remember that they were making out in front of you and then Amara didn't even let you step out of the house. She didn't let you step out of the house before getting wicked with her. No, forget Gia. We don't like her. All right, I helped um, I helped Sienna clean, so now she can just confess her attraction to Sade. We're just going to be straight up. I mean, we almost asked her to sleep with us. I think she feels the same way as she does. I mean, she definitely does. And it said that we can get away with everything because she was trying to seduce us. So we're just going to we're gonna invite her to stay the night. So that when everyone else leaves, they can do what they wanted to do. Yep. I'm crying. Self woohoo. Girl, not while you have guests. Not while you have guests. Please. All right. It seems like Gemma's leaving. All right. Bye, Gemma. We'll miss you. Well, I guess we can send Valentina home then. We're going to whisper seductively to Sade. Oh, she's going home too. All right, so it looks like it's just me and Sade. We gossiped with the girls. Shoot. Not again. Oh my God. I can't keep up. Oh my God. Y'all. Y'all. And she wants, to, she wants to kiss her. Okay, maybe let's have our first kiss first. We haven't even kissed Sade ever. Okay, we're going to kiss her. I'm crying. I can't. All right, go ahead and have your first kiss with her. Sienna moves on fast. That's the thing. She moves on fast. We're just going to... We're going to... I'm crying. This is funny. This is funny. We're going to end our situation with Amara because she's disrespectful. But anyways, I missed their first kiss. That was cute. It was cute. I'm sure it was. But let's do another one. Let's do an intense kiss. Oh, my God. You guys, I can't keep up with them. Throughout the conversation, I'm reading what the attractiveness alert. Throughout the conversation, Sienna got the impression that Sade finds her quite attractive, making her wonder if she has the right idea. You definitely do because now she's like, hey, Sienna, want to have some dirty fun? This is too much. Too much. Um, okay, well, Sienna tried to ask her twice, so I'm just going to say yes. Yes. They... She asked her or tried to ask her twice and I stopped her. So go ahead. Where are you guys going? I'll, I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. I'm going to I'm going to let them have their fun. So our girls 
they had their fun. So I'm just, you know, Sienna's not flirty anymore. She met her needs. Sage somehow is still flirty. Um, we're gonna, I'm crying, not her needing a shower. We'll do that when we wake up, but we're just gonna have her, should I? Yeah, they're gonna woohoo and go to bed. <laughs> but not Sage still being flirty. I'm crying. Listen. Also, it's the fact that Mara slept with her first and now Sienna's sleeping with her. This is just so messy. I honestly just wanted to her to have like a nice little dinner night or like dinner with her girls. But Sienna has a, a mind of her own. So it is what it is. You know, she asked her twice and then Sade asked her. So there's only so much I can do, y'all. Only so much I can do. Alright, but yes, they're going to boohoo and then they're going to sleep because not it being 7 in the morning. And Sienna leaves town tomorrow, so she, she needs to get her life together. I'm crying. Dreamy eyes from crushing on someone. From her first kiss, her crush, quickie with a hottie. I'm crying. Well, I'm glad it was good, Sienna. I'm glad it was good. <laughs> oh, Lord, I cannot. Can't keep up with her. But they're cute. Oh, my God, she's stinky. Oh, no, that's embarrassing. We have to take a shower. We have to take a shower. Yes, she's going to come and take a shower. She put in work, I guess. <laughs> All right, Sade took care of her stinkiness, and now they're cuddling. Honestly, I can't even say. I feel like it's cute, but Sienna does this with everybody. So, so I don't know. Like, I guess, I guess they're cute. I mean, Sade has been trying for a while. It's like a friends to lovers type of thing, right? Because they were friends for a really long time, and look at them now but the only issue is that she, Sade slept with Amara right in front of us but I guess that's not Sade's fault that's Amara's fault Amara's the one without boundaries I'll see you guys when they're awake right y'all so I'm gonna wake up Sienna and Sade oh there they go that little kiss yes they're waking up um and I think Oh, they're not waking up yet. But I'm going to wake them up in a little bit. And Sienna is hungry. I'm sure Sade is also almost hungry. But I think because Sienna is heading home later this evening, she has a red-eye flight. So she'll be in San Myshuno first thing tomorrow morning. Um, because of that, she wants to go to the beach one last time. And since we're with Sade, why not go with Sade? So we're going to wake up, maybe just like grab some food, uh, like a little beach hut and go for a swim. Just relax together. So let's wake up. <laughs> what is this? Lover's comfort from cuddling in bed. There's nothing quite like finding rest in the arms of the person you love. Did she fall in love? Oh my God. Don't tell me she fell in love. Oh, Sienna fell in love with Sade. This was before they kissed, I'm pretty sure. All right, y'all. So Sienna's ready. Sade is also ready. So I will see you all at the beach. All right. So Sienna and Sade have made it to the beach. Sade is already heading to the water. But I see a jet ski and Sienna actually hasn't gone jet skiing. So I think we're going to do that because the little food shack isn't open yet. So she has to starve for a little bit. Why are running through the water? I didn't know we could do that. Oh, now she's swimming. How oh, fun. Get it, Sienna. Oh my god. Uh, careful. 
All right. I'm going to have Sienna come and order food now that it's open. We're going to get the barbecue salmon. I feel like that will be really good. Yeah, girl, come eat. I know you're hungry. Bye. All right, so Sienna's enjoying her food. The sun is already setting. We came over here with Sade, but I think she's getting a massage. So Sienna finished eating, and she saw Amara was here. So she's walking over now because we're going to yell at her again. All right, we are... We're going to criticize her relationship preference. And when I'm criticizing it, I'm, criti I'm criticizing the fact that she has no boundaries. And that's what we're doing. Yes, yell at her. You're evil. Child forbidden words. Amara's like, why are you doing this? Yeah, be angry. Good. Because Sienna's also upset. And we are, can we end? We're going to end our non-exclusive agreement. She's like, it's over. You have no boundaries. All done. It's all done. We had fun, but our time is up. She feels good. Look at that. She feels good. Sienna and Amara are not in a non-exclusive relationship anymore. And of course, another alert. How many alerts is that in this episode? She's attracted to Nalani. I cannot keep up with her. Did she get... What did she get? She got sad. Ending romantic agreement. The special romantic arrangement between these sims wasn't a good fit anymore, it seems. It definitely wasn't. Right. So Sienna is... Let's say her flight is like... 11 p.m. So I'm going to have her swim with Sage, just spend some quality time with her, and then we will head home and end the episode. Sienna just had to come to the beach one last time before heading home for the weekend. She's like, I'm going to miss the water, especially since she's outdoorsy. She loves being active here in Suwani, so she's definitely going to miss being able to come to the beach. All right, so it is 7 p.m., so I'm going to have Sienna head home, and we'll see y'all there. All right, so Sienna made it back home, and she's just doing some last-minute tidying up before she leaves Sulani for a few days. And after an eventful couple of days, I think she does need a break from Sulani. So it'll be nice to see her in San Maishuno with her family and her friends, and to take a little break from the chaos that the last couple of days has been. Uh, I'm excited for the next episode because we'll be in San Maishuno. So I will see you all next time. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!